if Trump becomes president, <clears throat> do we want him to actually go through with retribution? Do we want him going after Hillary? Do we want him going after Obama? Do we want him going after the Bidens? What do we want when he well, gets I, there? I want him cleaning up all the messes and doing all the work and getting the country back on track first. I want him to do all of that stuff. I mean, I'd like him to close the border and like deport some people, Do you know what I mean? Get the economy back in order and do a lot of the things that need to be done. All that stuff comes first. And then maybe we can seek some revenge. <laughs> Okay. You so know. remember when he like, remember when he was running against Hillary and like he said, even during the debate, now he's trying to pretend that it's his followers who said, lock her up, lock her up. But we all remember the moment from the de debate when he was like, you'd be in jail. You know what I mean? So right. he's trying to distance himself from that because he doesn't want to appear like he's this vengeful, horrible guy. So he's walking a very interesting line at the moment. However, He's being clear that he is not in this for retribution. And the way that the media and the and Biden are twisting his words right now is making me rage. So he was on in, he was uh, with Sean Hannity last night mm -hmm. and or yeah, yesterday. And he was very clear about this. Now, you're going to hear a you're going to hear a part of this where I speed it up because sometimes he goes on these tangents where I am just like my God, Donald Trump, can you just focus for a freaking second? And then he does. So you're going to hear like all this mumbo jumbo that doesn't matter, but I don't want you to think I've edited anything, right? So I've just sped up that part. But he could not be clear that that is not his goal. He believes success is the best revenge. Right. Success and is the best revenge, yeah. That mm -hmm. is what he, he's very, very clear about that. Like when he says, when I say, <clears throat> let's be clear, like he's being clear, okay? So mm -hmm. in this first clip, you're going to hear Sean Hannity asked him specifically about retribution and is that what he wants? People are claiming you want retribution. People are claiming you want what has happened to you done to Democrats. Would you do that ever? Look, what's happened to me has never happened in this country before. And it has to stop because... Wait a minute. It, I want to hear that again. It has to stop. Well, it does have to stop because we're not going to have a country... And if you're anymore. elected, what does that mean to find that? Look... What I've gone through, nobody's ever gone through. Uh, I'm a very legitimate person. I built a great business. Everything's been, I have been under siege. Nobody's ever seen anything like this in this country. Now, in other countries, in other third world countries, or banana republic, as, as they say, a banana republic. We okay, so this is the part where he goes off on a tangent about like how everything sucks. So it's sped up but not, there's no break here. And then you're going to hear the rest of his answer slowed down to normal. Okay. So just so you know what's coming. We become a banana republic. At the border, we become a banana republic. With so many other elements of our country, we become a banana republic. You take a look at what's happening with inflation. That's a banana republic inflation, what we have. I think it could be as high as 50% if you add everything in. When you start adding uh, energy prices in, when you start adding interest rates, which have gone from 2% to 9% and 10%. The focus on okay. those that want people to believe that you want retribution, that you will use the system of justice to go yeah. after your political enemies. So, number one, they're wrong. It has to stop because otherwise we're not going to have a country. Look, when this election is over, based on what they've done, I would have every right to go after them. And it's easy because it's Joe Biden and you see all the criminality, all of the money that's going into the family and him, all of this money from China, from Russia, from Ukraine during one of the interviews, I said, what about the three and a half million dollars paid to the Biden family from the mayor of Moscow's <laughs> wife? Why OK, so I got to explain how I broke this up again, because I don't want people to th think I'm messing with anything. But he's about to talk about, you know, Hillary and the whole locker up thing. He told a very he gave a really great analogy, which I've cut here because it took way too long. But essentially he what he what he focused on was how he was at the UFC the other day and he got that amazing welcome, right? Yeah, yep. And he was remarking about how the fighters, the UFC fighters hate each other, right? And they get in the ring and they just beat each other bloody and like it's, they 
loathe one another, but they also come together like at, at whatever events or whatever other circumstances, it's kisses mm -hmm. and hugs and it's, and it's good all around. So he was trying to draw that correlation. I've cut the UFC story out, but just know that that's the part that's missing. Okay. So I, that's the only thing that's missing. I want you to hear what he says again, because I feel like he's being very clear. Have this stuff go on because you know what? When Biden goes out, everyone says bye bye. And then he gets indicted two days later and they go after him. The, the country doesn't want that. And you know what? They didn't want it with Hillary Clinton either. I thought it was terrible. You know, I'd make a speech everywhere and say, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. And I, and I said, wouldn't it be terrible if I locked up the wife of the president of the United States former and locked up the former secretary of state? It's a terrible thing. You know, you're starting off, you want to bring the country together. I want to bring the country together. And success does bring the country together because we are the most successful economy right. in the history of our country just prior to COVID. He's right. And listen, the, the um, UFC thing, that analogy, is a great analogy. And he actually subscribes to that analogy, I think, in politics because look at what he does to people <laughs> he's brutal he's brutal to people like ted cruz is a perfect example they were so awful to each other during the you know i guess during the primaries and then they became friends you know what i mean they like were they were fine with each other and pe some people can't deal with that some people just get so weirded out by that and they can't deal but then you know in politics he and Ted, they could deal with it. They're fine. Like they're fine yeah. with it. And a lot of people can like, I think Marco Rubio is probably another example. He was awful to Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio is fine with Trump. Like they are fine. If you put them in a room together, they probably get along just fine. I, I mean, I don't even know. Was he on a short list? I have no idea for VP. Yeah. He's on a short list. I mean, this is the thing. So I, th he can do that. He's capable. There are some people who are capable of that. They, they can separate business and like personal stuff. And I think that Trump looks at things from a business perspective. I'm cool with that too. Like business is business, man. That's the way that it is. Hackers and other ne'er-do-wells, as they used to say back in the day, <laughs> try to steal your online information and use it for their own personal gain. And we have a sponsor who can help you with that at aura.com slash Chick. So here's just an example. Um, this was pretty recent. This was just a few months ago that AT&T had to confirm that, yep, sorry, but data from 73 million of you, whether you're a current or former customer, it got leaked. Whoops. Our bad. So this is where Aura shines, right? And so one of the things that the article talked about was how to keep your accounts secure. And some of the things that they recommended was stuff like strong passwords, you know, something to monitor your account activity, uh, credit freezes, fraud alerts from credit bureaus. And a lot of people will go to a whole bunch of different sites to get those things set up to protect their personal information. But you don't need to do that because Aura does it all. So look at what you could potentially spend by, you know, buying a password manager, buying antivirus protection, buying a VPN, doing home title monitoring. Aura does all that for you. So why not at least try a 14 day free trial? You can do that by going to aura.com slash chicks. And immediately when you sign up for your free trial, you're going to enter your information and know just how much of it has already been stolen. We're super excited to have Aura on board as a sponsor. You should be too. This is a great, great thing to keep your information safe. Aura.com slash I believe him when it comes to this. I really do. I think well, he's and he's proven it because he didn't go after Hillary. He became yeah. president after all of that locking her up and you're going right. to go to jail. He didn't actually do it. Now, some people might be mad about that. Like there's yeah. I, I would have preferred that he did actually lock her up. You know what I mean? And so there's there's this weird dynamic. There, there's this weird balance that he has to have because he has to appease people who do want revenge, who are so sick of this and so mad and want justice. And mm -hmm. I'm one of those people like I want accountability. I want yeah, Fauci I put away forever. Yeah. And and he, you know, I, I don't know that there will be. So there's a very interesting line. But I don't think anybody can argue if you, all of you here, you just heard the words out of his face. He was very clear that he is not interested in pursuing through the Justice Department 
these people, Biden's, Hillary, he does not want to do that. He wants the country to be the focus. And, and so that, you got to give him credit I, for that. I Oh, I, I think we should give him a lot of credit for that because that shows – and I, much to the dismay of like the Joy Reads and all of these other horrible liberal people, it shows that he is a very um, humanity focused person. I don't think that they, that anybody on the left could give him any credit for that. They think that he's just this evil guy, but at the core of his being, he's very human. He doesn't want to do awful things to other people. He's very, look at what they've done to him. I don't think I would be that way. I think I would be like, oh, I'm coming out swinging, right? You know? I'm, you know, I would really seriously. He, I, that would be really tough for me to not want to take revenge on people and not want to have retribution. But he, if he doesn't, God bless him for that. You know, well, and a, and you agree that what we just heard was him being extremely clear about not well, doing that. He I, said he could. It would be very easy. It would be easy. But he also said in no uncertain terms that would be bad for the country and success is the best revenge. And I think so, he wants. Yeah, I think he wants to be successful. I think he wants the country to right. be successful. And that's going to be a lot of work in itself. Right. So what did the Biden and Harris campaign put out in response to that interview? This. Oh Donald Trump confirms plans to jail opponents. Freaking liars, I, man. I saw that. I could not believe it. And then it got even worse because then they had freaking McCabe, Andy McCabe with Caitlin Clark. Oh and I was just like, the way that I, she skewed t Trump's words, the way that they both pretended that all he wants is vengeance after they just heard the same thing that we listened to, I couldn't believe it. But you're going to hear it for yourself. There's two clips from Andy McCabe. Unbelievable McCabe's. liars. Yeah, I said Clark. Collins. I get them so confused now. Those names. Caitlin Collins. Here, uh, here, Here's the first one. I just, I can't. Like, I cannot believe that. Do they have the he same He is word? someone who's entirely transactional. And if he feels like he's been wronged in some way, then oh he God. focuses on revenge and, ven and vengeance. And so he's made it perfectly clear that that's what he's going to do. And in the process of seeking that, he is going to really he runs the risk of really dismantling and um, greatly uh, incapacitating the Department of Justice and the FBI. Really? And that is something that Americans on it both sides of the political aisle should be worried about. Yeah. We depend on those institutions to protect us. Well, what do you think? Uh, it's remarkable. It's just remarkable. It, it again, worse. again, it with worse. the gas, it, with the gaslighting and the projecting, I, it's, these people are such filthy liars.